we're talking about endovenous ablation. This is a new procedure, has been out around over a decade now. It replaced an old surgical procedure called stripping, where a vein called the saphenous vein was surgically removed. That procedure involved general anesthetic, either surgery center or hospital, and there would be several weeks of recovery. In this newer procedure, a laser fiber is put inside the vein, and this laser heats up the vein, shrinking it, and often a year later when you look for this vein, uh, it's been absorbed by the body, it's gone. So the end result is almost like you took it out. Patients who are candidates for this procedure would first have an ultrasound done that would show that this vein is malfunctioning, and this is a simple test to do. The success rate of this procedure is well over 95% of these veins treated two years later are still closed. Sometimes the body will try to reopen a channel, literally recannulize it, but that's a very uncommon event. Procedure is usually done in an outpatient uh, setting or even an office setting using local anesthetic. The patients can drive themselves to the procedure. They, they can drive themselves home. Some patients, if they want some minor sedation, can take you know, a Valium tablet. But the vast majority of patients, this is very uh, similar to going to the dentist. And he, you drive yourself there. He numbs a tooth, works on the tooth. You drive yourself home. You do the same thing here. The recovery is essentially immediate. We ask that people go and walk for an hour right after the procedure. They can resume most sports and activities within a few days. There's really no disadvantages to this procedure. It really is becoming the gold standard for treatment of saphenous vein reflux, and many doctors are using it to treat other veins as well. But the important thing is to get an ultrasound first, make the diagnosis that this is indeed your problem, and that it correlates with your symptoms, achiness, heaviness, etc. Uh, there has been probably tens of thousands of these procedures done in the United States, so it's becoming, as I said, the gold standard for treatment.